Hello, Younger Old here, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a review on a battery charger. Now, this is something I sort of picked up by accident. Uh, fortunately, my lifelong mate is a bit of a techie, and uh, he does his research on stuff before he purchases it. He's also quite tight. He don't like spending money unless he has to. And he told me about this charger, which he found, and uh, it's absolutely brilliant. So I'd like to share that with you guys. It was purchased from a, a well-known uh, European uh, supermarket chain. Like most blokes, I don't like really going shopping, but you know, sometimes when they've got special offers on, a walk down the, the middle aisles can often prove fruitful. So uh, watch the intro, stay tuned, and uh, find out a bit more. Um, motorbike batteries are expensive you know they're not not cheap items so once you've got one on your bike it really does pay to try and do your best to look after it now there's various different charges on the market which sort of maintain your battery you leave plugged in all the while but recently I've seen reports on YouTube where that's probably not the best way personally I've never done that way I tend to have a charger I keep the charger on um, in the garage and if the bike's not being used much probably every sort of month I'll just plug it on and I'll just top it up a little bit and then turn it off again and I have to admit I've never had a problem I'm not a mechanic I mean that may be totally the, the wrong thing to do but I've always done it that way and to be honest I've never really had any problems at the moment I've just got the two bikes I've got my uh, ST Sprint and I've got my uh, uh, ZZR 1400. So there's two batteries to look after. I've also got a car, so I uh, need a battery for that. I've got my caravan, so I've got a 110 amp hour leisure battery, which obviously in the summer when I'm using the caravan, it goes on a mains hookup and it gets charged. During the winter, it doesn't get used at all. And uh, batteries just tend to go flat anyway, just by not using them. I've also do a little bit of uh, fishing and I've got a battery outboard motor which I use on a boat. So there's another battery what constantly needs to make sure it's charged. And uh, this little charger I bought, it absolutely does everything I need it to do. Um, so, and it's nice and small and compact. So it does the job well. So without any further ado, Here's the actual unit itself. You can see I've got it plugged in. Um, I don't think you can work out the, uh, it's actually showing no volts at the minute because it's not connected to anything. There's also a little symbol underneath, which is very handy. It just shows it's not connected. Now, even if you've got your terminals connected wrong, you know, uh, positive to negative and vice versa, that symbol will show. It won't actually sort of spark or do any damage to the battery. So you see it's quite a small compact unit, you can screw it to the wall. I personally have a couple of cable ties just fitted onto it there. And I just hang it on a couple of hooks which hangs beside the bikes on the garage wall. You get a good deal of flex to the actual clamps. And the clamps are not weedy little horrible things, they are sort of quite strong clamps. One good feature is actually you can unscrew it there, undo that screw and you can take the clamp off. And you can then connect that directly to a battery or, or to anything else you want. So it's a good, you know, it does the job well. I'm very pleased with it so far. Now, I've actually just got this connected to my leisure battery. And uh, it's actually only showing, if you can see that, 6.3 volts. It's now charging it. You can actually set the charger for fast charging. You can set it for 6 volt charging. You can even set it for maintenance charging. What is good, uh, as a, uh, we're just going up now, it's just clicking in and registering. It's gone up now to 10.8 volt. And uh, you can see the symbols there for a motorbike or for car. But one good feature is, if the battery is actually dead, in other words, not worth charging, throw it away, 
it actually comes up and tells you that. Now, most of the other chargers I've had, they just tell you if it's flat or not. They don't actually tell you if the battery is any good. So, as you can see, it's at 11 volts now, so it's not too low. Um, I will give it another charge again before, up to full again before the season starts. So, to sum up, yep, yeah, as I've mentioned before, it's a good bit of kit. It's, it charges everything I need to charge. Um, and the price was actually £14. Now, you know, you absolutely get nothing for £14 nowadays. So, to get something as good as this for that price, I, I think it's a real bargain, you know. And we all like a bargain. Both the so-called discount supermarkets sell it. I bought mine from uh, one. My mate bought his from the other. The boxes are different. But when you look at the unit inside, it's the same size. Everything's exactly the same, apart from the name. So obviously you can get it either one. So just keep your eye out, see when they're advertised, and uh, go and grab yourself one. And I'm sure you know you'll be pleased with it. Anyway, if you like the video, please tick subscribe would always be nice leave any comments below but thank you for watching uh, once again this has been the younger older and as usual ride safe and uh, bye for now